Hello and welcome to round five of the South African Sim GT Endurance Series. And we are racing at Monza this time round. Peter van Vieren for Trigon Racing has placed his white Ferrari on pole position. He shares the front row with Marcus Stein of Shadow Ghostworks. The fastest BMW in qualifying, driven by Jason Osmeyer, will start from third position for Trigon Rev Limit Racing. Philip Latakan for Prodigy Motorsport will start from fourth. Head of Johannes Kutzer, the second of the Shadow Ghostworks Ferraris. Kader Smith had a good qualifying session. He starts from sixth position. Ahead of Jason Holden Jones in the HJ Motorsport engine Ferrari. Chris Hanika and Azim Edwards round up the field, starting from the last row. You may have noticed there is, that there is a car missing from the fourth grid spot, and that is Mark Embryo, unfortunately unable to join the grid due to technical difficulties. Anyway, let's enjoy this 28 lap long race. Each driver having to do one mandatory pit stop. It's been interesting to see how the strategies play out. But we are about to go racing, and off we go. And Fion veers across the track and almost makes contact with Stan. But Jason Osma is a great run down to turn one, and he looks to take over the race lead. Oh, we have contact behind him. That is Philip Latakan, who's decided to log some airtime. Kevin Smith gets going once again and Philip Lartikon has also been able to rejoin the circuit but it is Jason Osmai who leads on lap one what a great start from third position can Marcus then come back at him Peter van Vieren I'm sorry from pole position is down to third defending from Oh, that is actually Jonas Katsia, he's slipped by into third position. So Van Vieren down from pole position to fourth. And he has Jason Holden Jones all over the back him as well. Cars close together, what you'd expect during the opening lap. But it is a long race, and the guys will be taken a bit more careful. Nassim Edwards close behind Holden Jones in the Nexus Racing BMW. Our championship leader Bashir Judd White unfortunately not able to race in this race. Jason Absmeyer looking back at our second place man Marcus Stein. He looks to have a run him here. Will he ever go into turn one? The under breaking. But Absmeyer seems to have covered him for now. Can Stein run along the outside? Yes he can. And Marcus Stein has re regained that lead. Confirmation on our screen at Marcus Stein has gone to the front. Stein leads from Osmeyer, looking comfortable on this opening stage. Zim Edwards in sixth position at the moment. Maintaining position ahead of Chris Heineke and Hannah Smith. Heineke in the number 13 HRT racing. BMW Van Vieren looking very strong in third position. He's caught up, up to the boot of the BMW M3 of Abismaier. 
think you'll be looking at having a run it up as my into turn one it's got the drive down the main straight look at this what can he do with it using the slip streaming effect as well he runs along that was my we have a great shot here and fun fear and we'll have a go that was my under braking he looks to have the job done great move there by fun fear number 15 chargon racing ferrari goes to second position he now looks to go after Marcus Stone. He's currently enjoying a significant back to second position. Each drive, of course, may be on different strategies. So you may find certain cars will be running different fuel loads. Drivers may cheat between a soft, super soft, soft, medium, and hard tire. Super soft being the tire used for qualifying. For this stress distance, the drivers only choose between the soft or medium tyre. We'll see how it plays out towards the end. Johannes Kutzia now edging towards Abzmaier to challenge him for that third position. Speaking of which, now Kutzia much closer to, to Abzmaier. In a similar position to what Van Buren was just one lap ago. And Kutze is going to have a go. He's running alongside Absmeyer. He has the inside line. And he's got him. Job done. Holden Jones there, not far behind in fifth position. Absmeyer looking to come back now at Kutze. It's here covering the outside line but then goes back outside. I'm just having a look up the inside but no, Kutsia has got him covered. So Asma has dropped back from first to fourth position. Is he running a heavier fuel load looking to go for a longer stint? Is he possibly on those medium tyres? The strategy may come into play a bit later on. But that's why I'm looking to come back at Kutsia once again. Into Ascari we go. You can see Kutsia just moving away there through the corner. Oh, yeah, it's a big moment. And he's lost the drive into the back straight. Here comes Abzmai. Abzmai taking that third position away from Kutsia. And here comes Holden Jones as well, don't forget about him. He's looking to join the party. As you can see that Ferrari just able to use a tighter line through Parabolica. But he is we go down the main straight. Kutsia looking to put that move on Absmai, just like he did one lap ago. But now Absmai has got him covered this time round. A great press we have for third position. Look at this, we have a race for first position as Van Furen is now caught in the leading Ferrari of Marcus Stein. A 
Good see has not given up on that third position. Van Furen now looking very dangerous in second position. Indeed looking for the drum now through Parabolica. Very important to get this corner right. Or oh, a good drive down the main straight. Van Furen looking for the toe from Stan's Ferrari. And here comes the trout on Julian Ferrari. As he looks up the inside. But no, Stan has got him under braking. Wolves. Van Furen be able to cut underneath him. Yes, he can. Does he have the drive to challenge him? They are still side by side. It's too late now for Stain to go defensive. And Stain just sped under brakes, although he doesn't break him up there. Can Van Furen cut underneath him? No, he can't, but Stain has had an oversteering moment. And through goes Peter Van Furen into the lead. And Quetzia has got Absmeyer. Looking to come back at Van Furen for the race lead. Look how much quicker Van Furen is through Ascari. Suddenly open up the gap. Kader Smith now starting to challenge Nazim Edwards. And that is for seventh position. Kader Smith showing good pace at Monza. Recovering after that. Opening corner incident with Latakhan. Kader Smith looks to have the drive on Edwards. This is getting covered so far. Stains at 7th position. Going to block to find not too far by any ninth as well. Turn to our race leader, Peter van Furen. I was mine are looking to take that position back from Kutsia. Oh, they're trying to bit of paint through Parabolica. A bit more rubbing there. Hotly contested battle between these two. Fantastic to watch. Asma is back into third position. Holden Jones now with a great run on Kutsia. Kutsia battling to exit the last chicane. And that is enable Holden Jones to 
trying to have a good, good opportunity this. But no, Kutsia has got him under brakes. And the Smith is up into seventh position to finding a way past the Zim Edwards. But Edwards is coming back at him. What has happened to our to Peter von Fieren? He's had to make an unfortunate or uh, unscheduled pit stop, should I say? And through goes Marcus Stein into the lead of this race. I was my promoted up into second position. Van Furen has been held up in the pits. Hopefully he will be able to rejoin this race. Very consistent drive from Chris Heinecker in 5th position for HRT. Heinecker Racing Team. Very unfortunate that his teammate Mark Embry is not able to join this race. But it's going Stains away so far. Nine laps down, 21 to go. start seeing the first pit stoppers coming in in about five laps time four five laps time lap 13 or 14 should mark up the halfway stage of the race Johannes Kutsia is coming to the pits. So that, that is on lap 10, that's quite early. Looks to be a strategic move, trying to get the undercut on Abismaya. Be interesting to see where he rejoins. And when of course Abismaya and Holden Jones pit. Kutsia rejoins in ninth position. Okay, this mid is also pitted and is, is in currently in eighth. early can aid you track position later on as well the other drivers are nearing the end of their stints their tires are worn and therefore are slower and the guys who put it earlier of course are on fresh fresher tires and can and earn positions from that
As you can see Peter van Furen has rejoined the race, but is unfortunately two laps down. Unfortunate technical difficulty for him. As he would have been the, one of the main contenders for the race win. Stan looking mega quick through a scary. Car looking absolutely glued to the tarmac. Chris Heineke currently in 4th position. Kenneth okay, Smith in 5th. Was my in second position man, matching pace with race leader Marcus Stan. Holden Jones in third is about equal as well. In comes our race leader for his pit stop. Absmeyer will stay out longer. 
He inherits the race lead. Holden Jones moving to second for now. And how long will Absmai now go before his pit stop? That is the big question. The way he dropped back during the opening stages looks to me that he will run a bit longer. Chris Heineken currently in third. And Stain rejoins behind Ken Smith. And number 51, Ferrari. Smith makes Stain in fifth position for now. Latakhan in number 14, Orange Motorsport, Orange Ferrari. It was my enjoying a decent gap back to Holden Jones in second. Holden Jones pitting from second position. You see Chris Heineke limping into the pits. And that seems to be a fuel is issue. Running his stint a bit longer than expected. But he seems to, that he's going to make it. And able to refuel for the rest of the race. So see Jones exiting the pits. And it looks as if Kutsia will rejoin in front of him. Yes, he will. Okay, the Smith is up a position ahead of Holden Jones as well. So you can see what that early pit stop can do for you with regards to track position. Chris Heineke makes it back on track as well. Great stuff. Abismai continues his extended stint. Well past the halfway mark of the race. Abismai obviously comfortable with his gap back to second place man Mark Stain. Stain will be working towards closing the gap to Absmai. And hopefully be regaining that race lead after Absmai does his mandatory pit stop. Peter Van Feren comes in for yet another stop. Smith is up into fourth position, very close to Johannes Kutsia. The 
as the Olden Joe is getting back up to speed after his pit stop. It's a bit of a fear in stopping on the pit exit. He seems to have a problem. Unfortunately, he's retired from the race. Big blow for from Fearon with the cost of the championship. As like I said before, Bashir Jadwat, our championship leader, has not been able to make the grid for this race. And that would have been a great opportunity for Van Fearon to get some points and close that gap to Jadwat in the Drivers' Championship. But looking very quick through the chicane, maintaining their position ahead of Holden Jones and Philip Latakhan. Just 10 laps still remaining and Absmai still has not done his mandatory pit stop. So that uh, lack of pace during the opening stage is due to his, his strategy of running much longer during the race. Clearly running a much higher fuel load at the beginning. Perhaps in the medium tyre compound. Which is notably slower than the soft tyre of course. See up as my coming in this lap. Stay now starting to close the gap. See up as my I think would now would be the right time to do that but stop. Hasn't got quite enough time to come out in the race lead. No, Osmai is going to stay out a bit longer. Osmai was two tenths quicker than staying on that last lap. Osmai may be running longer so that he can use that soft tire, soft tire during this last stint. And of course he will be much quicker during the closing stages of this race where Stain might be battling with tire wear. It's here now coming an attack from Cad Smith. Here comes Smith, he's going to have a go up the inside into turn one. Oh, could see a bit better under braking. Yes, he is. See the 
Hong Kong Ferrari is much better, it's much better drive out of the chicane. Smith looking to run along the long side, could see her into the next chicane. Surely Smith has got in this time round. No, he doesn't. Could see her slams the door. Smith's gonna have another go now. Oh no, he's not quite close enough. In fact, in between themselves, has enabled Holden Jones to catch up to them. So now we have a three way fight for third position. Got to get it all crossed up in the back on the, in the orange Ferrari. Keeps out of the wall though. And Holden Jones now looking at like at the inside at Ascari. Okay, not close enough. on entry to Parabolica. Surely Smith is going to use the toe. Yes he is, he pulls out of it. Surely Smith is going to get it done now into turn one. Yes he's got him. He moves across under braking, that's naughty. Oh he's lost it anyway. Oh and Kutsi's running to the back of him. Three goes Jones into fourth position. I'm sure the race students will be looking at that because you're not allowed to change your line into into the corner. And that is what Smith did. from that incident moving up into fourth position now challenging for third and now race leader Asma is into the pits finally after a very long stint of 20 laps can Marcus Stein pass him we haven't seen Stein yet into the picture but here he comes you can see in the background has Asma done enough no, here comes Stan flying through into the race lead. And of course, Osma has rejoined with the fresh tyres. And dare I say that he's chosen the soft tyre option. And with seven and three quarter laps remaining, he's got enough time to do it. Stain still doing very respectable lap times. And Holden Jones has moved up into third position. And Kutsi has moved up into fourth. I think that Smith has led past Kutsi after that incident. Smith currently in 5th position. That was my is taken out 3 tenths from Stain's lead. On his outlap. So Asma is clearly on the better strategy and is start, starting to pay off. It's a great strategic planning from Asma. Now he's in a great position to take the race win. 
but of course he still needs to pass staying on track as we see Ken Smith now changing Kutsia for fourth position but he hasn't got it done Kutsia slams the door a great fight between these two for fourth position and the battle of course for Neville Holden Jones to get away in third position And they're breaking aggressive over the curves. back from Stens Ferrari you can see the gap has clearly come down it's quite visible it gives me a much faster during the final stages of this race Dr. Khan currently in 6th position Doing a good job after starting from 9th But this is the fight we want to see That is right now Tucked out by under Or behind Marcus Stein I'm sorry, much stronger under the brakes How long can Stein hold out against I'm sorry. Four and a half laps remaining. Not looking too bad through Ascari, which is where you would think tire wear would show the fast left right hand combination. Big understeering moment for Absmeyer through Parabolica, he drops back from Stain for the moment. I expect I was might to be much better under braking here for the turn one. He pulls out. He has a cheeky look. No, not this time. Oh, he might be able to kind of underneath him, but he doesn't. Good draw by staying out of the chicane. And Alzma is going to run alongside Stain. On his out, braked him around the outside. You can clearly see the tire wear advantage there. And Abzmai's strategy paying dividend there. Playing the waiting game and it's paid off. Oh, and Stan has lost it. Into the tire wall he goes. He's going to be able to carry on. But I think that puts pay to any further further challenge for the race win, barring any mistakes from Absmai. As this battle rages on for fourth position between Smith and Kutsia. Smith currently winning it so far.
Chris Heinecke currently lapping in seventh position after dropping back from the pit stop phase. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but he had a difficult stop. And he's behind this man, Philip Artakhan. Artakhan improving all the time, every race in the amateur class for this season. looking very second hand after that opening stage incident with Fred Smith. Just three and a half laps now remaining for Abismaya. This is his debut race of the GTE Championship. on course for his win on debut Holden Jones looking comfortable in third position in the red Ferrari carries on now as we're going for around 10 laps and Smith also with a great strategy pitting earlier doing the opposite to what Absmeyer did gaining track position and then maintaining that position as well as he has he's moved up from starting sixth position he's now in fourth position Also recovering from that incident with Artikon. A good comeback job from Gerd Smith. Back straight we go. been a fascinating battle between Stain and Absmai. Absmai just with the upper, upper hand with his better strategy. Smith has now opened up the gap. You could see it for that fourth position.
defeated Jason with my has started the final lap of the race. Four corners remaining now, Five is my to take victory on debut of the South African Sim GT Endurance Series. Jason Absmeyer wins at Monza. Congratulations to him. Fine drive that was. Marcus Stein with a solid second position. Good drive by him. And Jason Holden Jones will bring a podium finish for HJ Motorsport. Good consistent driving by him. Good recovery drive by Gerd Smith earns him fourth position. Kutsia finishes in fifth. Very close together, but it will be Latakan who finishes in sixth position. And Heineke is a lap down, of course, and he finishes in seventh. That's all we have for round five at Monza. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.